Welcome back, everybody. If you are looking to take a journey back in time, maybe to the days of the dinosaurs, now you don't have to travel very far at all because the Edelman Fossil Park and Museum of Rowan University officially opens to the public tomorrow. And we're excited to have Dr. Kenneth Lavera, who is the founding executive director of the Park and Museum, joining us live from Mantua. Good morning to you. This is so cool to see. I mean, the images are amazing. Tell us what inspired the creation of the Park and Museum, Doctor. Well, you know, a lot of people don't know that New Jersey is really the cradle of dinosaur paleontology, the world's first nearly complete dinosaur skeleton found in 1858, 11 miles from here in Haddonfield, New Jersey. And the world's first tyrannosaur discovered was not T-Rex. It was one called Dryptosaurus, found one mile from here in 1866. Who knew? Who knew? And what's neat is that you guys have amazing fossils, amazing displays. Tell us about some of the unique experiences uh, that the public can enjoy. That makes it different from other museums. Well, when you come into this museum, you will see the dinosaurs that lived right here 66 million years ago. So the dinosaurs that lived on the East Coast. And then when you come into the gallery where I am right now, it's called Monstrous Seas. All of these creatures that you see behind me and all of the fossils in the cases were found on the property in our fossil quarry in a layer that is 65 feet beneath my feet right now. This is the Mosasaurus. It's not a dinosaur, it's a marine lizard. And this is the all-time apex predator of the world's ocean. It's 55 feet long, they have a six foot jaw, and they have a second set of teeth at the top of their throat to keep you from swimming back out. And right here, down in this display case, you can see this is an actual 66 million year old fossil that we found in our quarry of one side of those second set of teeth. Imagine that pointing backwards and the tongue pressing against it and preventing you from swimming back out. This thing is a sea monster. Wow, well, what's really neat about this museum too is the fact that the public gets access to some of the sites and can go looking for fossils themselves. That's right, we have our research layer uh, down bottom, which, which happens to be the best window that scientists have into the pivotal, calamitous last days of the dinosaurs. And then above that, we have layers where the public can dig for fossils themselves. And every kid, every grown up who comes here who's not afraid to get their hands dirty and who tries a little bit, finds a 66 million year old fossil with their own hands that they get to take home. I know this is going to be a hit. Dr. Kenneth Lacovera, thank you so much for joining us and best of luck with the grand opening tomorrow. I know it's going to be a hit. It's already sold out, so that goes to show people are really excited that you guys are open up for business. Thank you so much. You can, uh, you can visit us at EFM.org. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Good to see you.